Never eat a plain congee again because my dad's sliced fish congee will change your porridge game. Daddy Lai will teach us how to harness the delicate flavors of fish to get this heartwarming dish just right. We'll start with preparing the aromatics. Hello, First, we'll dice up just the green parts of the green onions. We'll first cut up the ginger into thin slices. Then lay the slices down and cut into thin strips. We have all of these ingredients listed on our blog at madewithlao.com, along with step by step instructions and video clips to guide you as you make the recipe at home. First, we'll squeeze out any excess water from the fish. What kind of fish do you use? As my dad mentioned, any fillet of white fish will work, such as cod, halibut, or even tilapia. As always, we suggest checking out Monterey Bay Aquarium's Seafood Watch website to find sustainable options. Now we'll cut the fish at an angle into roughly quarter to half inch thick slices. For more comprehensive lessons on knife technique and safety, we're super excited to invite you to the Kanto Cooking Club, a membership where you'll learn to cook and think just like a Cantonese chef. First off, Mei with Lao is here to stay and we'll still be sharing recipes and tips on YouTube every single week. So if memberships aren't your thing, no pressure. But for those of you who are super curious and passionate, if you want an expert to walk you through step-by-step -step how to master Cantonese cooking, then this might be perfect for you. In the Canto Cooking Club, we're not just giving you recipes. For less than the cost of takeout, we're distilling my dad's 50 years of experience into organized, easy to follow classes, teaching you how to set up your kitchen, how to use a wok, how to craft and improvise with different flavors and more. When you join, you get instant access to everything. And every month you'll get a new class to build on your foundation with videos, Printouts and mastery recipes. It's all on demand so you can learn at your own pace and not have to show up at specific times. Also, in our private community, you'll get to connect directly with Daddy Lao, make new friends, and cultivate better cooking habits through our weekly challenges. So if you want cooking to feel more effortless and intuitive, go to club.maywithlao.com or click the link in our description to sign up. After slicing, we'll marinate the fish. <laughs> We'll first mix the seasonings together on one side of the bowl. Then we'll mix it in with the fish. Then we'll add one egg white to the fish. We'll mix gently so we don't break apart the fish. After adding oil, we'll continue mixing, making sure all the fish is coated in oil. To start, we'll wash the rice with water. As always, we'll wash three times, pouring out the starchy water and using clean water each time. Okay, 
。好啦，買洗好咗。好啦，材料整好曬，買曬好咗，而家開始煲粥啊！你中意結啲嘅就多少啲水，中意相對稀啲嘅就多啲水。我就通常就個比例就係、是、我俾半磅買嘅呢個係六至七杯水咁上下落去。我再今日咧就用六杯水，你覺得佢係結嘅時候，你咪加啲滾水落去咯。煲好嘅時候啊，好啦，而家開始，我係用煲個滾水落去啊，快啲啊，六杯水嚇。We'll add six cups of boiling water into a pot. 你開到最大火，滾水先至落米。嗱，話俾大家聽啊，煲粥咧就落咗米之後，搞一搞佢之後咧就唔好再搞啦。你再搞佢，佢就容易黐喺底，黐底。我哋廣東人最中意煲粥嘅，注重個粥底，個粥底煲得靚，食起嚟就好中意，好爽。個粥底靚咧就費時費時間。好啦，而家滾水，擺咧擺上去。When the water boils, we'll add in our rice. 咁樣搞過嗰只啊煲滾之後咧，就唔好再搞噶啦。OK， 就俾少少油上去，啊，一啲嘅茶匙嘅油上去，咁啊煲粥就會滑啲噶啦。好啦，咁啊要慢慢煲啦，三慢火，最慢嘅時候慢慢火，慢慢煲，慢火先煲得煲粥靚，係嘛？好啦，咁等時間啦。After it comes to a boil, we'll cover and let it cook on low. Now, my dad will share his secret to cooking perfect congee in less time. 我細個嗰時煲粥，阿媽同我教我就係咁啦，煲一十分鐘到佢就熟，咁搞爛佢就慳柴慳時間。我呢度都係慳時間慳嘅事。我要用嗰個柴攪咧，就大概係廿五分鐘咁上下就得噶啦。如果冇呢個咧，你就煲耐啲噶啦。好，我就慢慢打啦。嗱。Kanji or tuk in Cantonese is a super common Chinese comfort food because it originates from a time when people were poor and made big pots of kanji to make their rice last longer. However, kanji has become a dish enjoyed across all walks of life, from emperors to everyday people. It's also an ideal food for babies. My mom started feeding us kanji when we turned one, and it's certainly something we enjoy feeding our kids too. Kanji is a perfect canvas for every ingredient, from fresh veggies to savory meats. The version we're making today emphasizes the natural flavor and Tender texture of the sliced fish. Now, after 25 minutes of cooking on low, we're ready to return to our kanji. 好啦，朋友们，粥煲到而家就煲好咗啦，大概需要廿五分钟咁嘅时间。嗱，我哋掀开佢，嗱，我就再用呢个咧打打佢，嗱，打翻佢咧，佢就佢就佢就会好靓啲粥噶啦。嗱 ，Now we'll uncover and whisk our kanji. 嗱，用呢个再打佢，再发烂佢咧，就粥粥就好靓噶啦。嗯，洗好耐，系几分？两分钟就得。咁样发完咧，睇下佢啱唔啱你个稀啲定结。如果你觉得佢稀咧，就冇得讲噶啦。你讲佢结咧，你就加少少水上去。After whisking for two minutes, we'll check the consistency. 咁样情形咧，就会结咗少少噶啦。啊，咁结咗少少，加翻啲鱼上去咧，就会好结噶啦。咁样咧，加翻啲滚水上去，半杯水先。Yeah. My dad adds about half a cup of water to thin it out a bit. How do you prevent the kanji from getting too watery, like as you're eating it? Boil, 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 boil. You don't boil it. 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 Now we'll slowly add the fish into the kanji, spreading it out in the pot. Shirley from the Kanto Cooking Club asked, "Do you put the fish in as a last step after the kanji is fully cooked?" 即系最后煮滚好，俾好晒，先最尾先落鱼肉。啲鱼肉好快脆熟嘅啫，一搞佢就即刻食。你摆得耐咧，佢咧鱼肉就腍晒咯。除非你煲煲煲烂晒，你将啲你唔想一嚿嚿鱼肉咁，你摆落个煲耐啲，咪煲烂晒啲鱼肉佢，整散佢。加開慢火佢。On low heat, we'll mix the fish around so all the pieces are separate. 發散佢啊，好快脆啲魚，好快脆熟嘅啫。啲姜絲俾埋上去。假如你唔想落姜啊，你又可以唔落啊。How do you reduce fishiness 
切咗魚肉之後咧，我落啲姜，落啲誒胡椒粉咁撈過佢，同埋甩粥嘅時候咧，切啲姜落去撈埋佢。唔中意姜邊胡椒粉？有冇啲魚係特別腥啲？有啲魚係冇咁腥。係，有啲係好特別腥，有啲冇咁腥。咁咧，俾鹽搞一搞味，俾一個茶匙上去，調味嘅時候咧。就我中意係平時俾啲魚露上去，用魚露一調味咧，會好過時候。魚露係新鮮啲嘅，俾一個茶匙就夠啦，唔好太多。好啦，咁啊生火得噶啦。After adding seasoning, we can turn off the heat and mix it in。啲魚已經熟噶啦，嘢啲魚幾靚。And now is the perfect time for a taste test。正啊，正啲魚肉好滑啊嘛。Now we can transfer the congee to a large serving bowl like this, or into individual bowls directly. Okay, 加上啲葱花。Finally, we'll garnish with our green onions and cilantro and serve to our family. 你细路仔又食，细路仔又食鱼食粥。爹哋最叻嘅食鱼。嗯，收紧。正唔正？大哥，啊，正唔正？鱼粥啊，补好多啦，希望大家中意。红队吃足咯！YouTube thinks you'll like this recipe next. Let's see if they're right. A huge thank you to our walk stars and all of our chefs in the Canto Cooking Club.